all into the um, into the help desk is I, I know I need to place a compound curve um, in this alignment but using the PI tools I can't quite enter in the PI uh, coordinates or radiuses um, exact enough so that it'll it'll consider it a, a compound curve I can't quite get it to where it doesn't place that tangent in between there uh, I'm getting the um, a lot of times you'll get the no solution found or solution overlaps or contains discontinuity error and what I'll say is well let's get it close uh, using the PI tools and then let's go over to the horizontal element tools and create it so that's what we'll do here all right in this example we have an alignment already created I think I've created it out here already uh, my main line alignment I'm gonna set active I'm gonna go ahead and view this alignment right click and, and select view so what we have is we have an alignment there it has a radius on our roadway and it's not quite matching up to the existing roadway and we're gonna try and fit this in the the existing roadway as best we can and I think what we're going to need to do up at the top is we're going to need to have a, f a flatter curve. It looks like when we get here to about this location right here, we need to tighten up that curve and have a uh, have a different radius, a tighter radius there. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put a compound curve with a flatter curve in up here and then tighten it up to turn this portion of the curve. Um, and this was uh, what I did initially was laid out this alignment just using the PI tools. I, I strike, struck my two tangents there, put a PI there, and, and fit the curve in as best I could. This is the best I could get using that, and I realized that we need to use a compound curve. So the first thing I'm going to do is delete this element, this curve element, out of here. Let's see, uh, before I do that, let's review the curve here. Review horizontal. And I can see that this current radius is a, is a radius of 500 feet. On this, this is a pretty small job here. Um, we have a 500 foot radius. So I can see maybe at the top of this curve, I need to loosen that up and go a little flatter, maybe to about 700 feet. And I need to tighten in. 500 feet is uh, too large for this bottom portion of the curve. So I'm going to do a, uh, I'm going to try around 700 and around 300 down here at the bottom and see if I can get that to fit into the existing geometry pretty good. So we'll go to a geometry horizontal element. We're going to delete the circular element that was created using the PI tools and close. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to float in a, uh, a larger radius curve than, than the 500 that was there. To do that I'm going to go to geometry horizontal elements. I'm going to add a floating curve. 700 foot radius. I'm going to flatten that out. It was 500. I'm going to flatten it out. When I do that, I'm just going to hit apply, um, select the tangent up there, and you can see that I'm in dynamics now, uh, placing a curve. And you can see that it is and it is lengthening that tangent based off of where I put the PI. So I'm going to come in, uh, maybe zoom in a little bit, and try and go right down the edge of pavement. This looks good. I've I've chosen to do a 700 foot radius here and that looks like it's matching up with the first part of this curve pretty good so I'm just gonna place it out here somewhere this point is gonna move later when we go in and put the next curve in I'm gonna do a data point there and then I'm gonna accept it I'm done with that now and then the next step I'm gonna place that tighter curve in here and see if see if I can get one to fit um, I'll do uh, for that geometry horizontal element and I'm going to add a free curve and this is going to be a curve to the right and I'm going to do something smaller than 500 I'm going to do about 350 as my radius when I hit apply on that I'm going to choose the first element down here and then I'm going to choose my curve element and there it fit in a radius that looks pretty good I might want to go a little bit tighter and see if it could carry it out there but I'm going to go ahead and accept that and uh, and now I have a compound curve. The top of my curve is flattened out to match that and the bottom has uh, tightened up to match the bottom part of that curve. So now if I go to uh, geometry again and I want to look at this view geometry and uh, horizontal orientation and again I just want to see the rad radials. And there I can see my compound curve. Um, if I go to now geometry review horizontal go back to an alignment I can see that I have a point of compound curvature there at station um, 441 I'll hit close on that and just to check um, one more time we'll go to geometry horizontal element 
and I'm going to check integrity on that curve and we can see out here that our integrity is okay.